So next question is, this figure below is what type of quadrilateral? You gotta excuse my drawing, it's not perfect here. But uh, the options are square, rhombus, trapezoid, and parallelogram. So first off, um, with the question, quadrilateral just means what, um, what kind of quad is four lateral this side, what kind of four-sided object is this? So all, everything that has four sides is a quadrilateral, but it breaks down to like specific things like a square, a rhombus, trapezoid, parallelogram, they're all different kinds of, of squares, like triangles they have, everything with three sides is a triangle but they have isosceles triangles, which means that two sides are the same. And they have equilateral triangles where all three sides are the same. And uh, the scalene triangle, which none of the sides are the same. Um, so anyway, so for this figure, you basically need to know how to decipher the picture here. Um, so when you have um, the little line on each side, like this, this side here, side A, has one line and side C has one line. So that one line means that those sides are the same length. And side B has two lines here and side D has two lines. So that means that side B and side C or side B and side D are the same length. So this has opposite sides of the same length, A and C, and B and D are the same length. The arrows, when you have arrows in a in a figure diagram, that means that they're parallel. So this is saying that side A is parallel to side C because they each have one. It's like a matching game. So because those two are those two have arrows, those two sides are parallel. And here we have two sets of arrows and two sets of arrows. So this these arrows are talking about side B and these arrows are talking about side D. So B and D are parallel. So um, let me just go through these answers and kind of explain the difference. Um, the answer is the parallelogram, just the heads up, but a square, for this to be a square, a square is the object that has all four sides are equal length and all the angles are equal as well and opposite side, all the si um, opposite sides are also parallel. So this has opposite sides are parallel. A and C and B and D, but all four sides aren't the same. If they were all the same, then they'd each have one one dash, one line on on the line. But these only two of the lines have the same dash. So it can't be a square. A rhombus is um a object that has uh both it has opposite parallel lines or opposite parallel sides but all the all the sides have let me see let me try it has what is it all four sides As the two sides are opposite. The opposite sides are parallel. And the angles, the opposite angles, as two sets, the acute angles, basically, a rhombus is basically a diamond. So all the sides are same, and it has the acute angles, the angles that are less than 90 degrees, are the same, and the obtuse angles 
are the same, the angles that are larger than 90 degrees. Um, or it can also have all the angles being the same, but the opposite sides being parallel. So like a square could technically be a rhombus also, but not, but a rhombus isn't a square. So it's kind of confusing, but this does not meet those standards because the opposite sides, or all the sides aren't the same, the same length. They have two sets of two different size sides. So a trapezoid is, uh, next thing, a trapezoid has one set of parallel lines. So like, let's say, that would be a trapezoid. So you say that this side and this side are parallel. But this side and this side obviously aren't parallel. Parallel just means that, like, you know, when you're parallel parking, you're, you're going in line, straight line with the other cars that you're going. You know, parallel lines on the road are the lines, the lines in the middle of the road that are the yellow lines. You know, they they keep they keep you going straight. So they're they're lined up with each other. It means that if they the lines keep going, going and going, they won't ever cross. If it's not parallel, say like the line how it's on an angle, at some point these lines are gonna cross. And when because they cross, that means they're not parallel. So a trapezoid has one set of parallel lines, and that would be represented by the one arrow, the one arrow, and none of the sides, none of the sides are congruent. So there's no lines, no slashes. So this, since it has two sets of parallel lines, two sides of parallel lines, um, it's not a trapezoid. And the parallelogram, which it is, has opposite two sets of parallel lines, two sets of parallel sides. So this side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to that side. And the opposite sides are also congruent, which they would have to be, otherwise it couldn't be two sets of parallel lines. If one, this is this is obviously the long definition, long explanation of this problem, but figure to help you understand if you get a figure with one of these other ones and it's not a parallelogram. Um, so if it has two sets of parallel lines, oh, that's the side. Oof, oh, I hate that feeling. Um, two sets of parallel lines, the, the sides, the opposite sides would obviously have to be congruent because otherwise, like this here, these, this side has to equal this side, and this side has to equal this side, otherwise if one side was longer than the other one, if you go to connect these, you see how they would have to make different angles. That would be that would be a, a trapezoid because eventually these are going to cross paths, so they're not parallel. So you can have, you know, these lines are are parallel. These ones are parallel, but if you connect them, those obviously aren't parallel. So they're going to touch at some point. So that's not a parallelogram. For a parallelogram, the opposite sides will have to be the same length, otherwise it's not going to work. Because you can't have you can't have two sets of parallel lines if the, the lines between them aren't aren't the same length. So that is the answer to this question, D.
parallelograms.